Hey guys, now we're gonna check out these cases from Pelican. I, I got two different cases. One of them is the Voyager. Uh, this one has a four ledger protection, military grade. This is gonna be one of your thicker cases. And then I have another case called Adventure. Now this is gonna be a metallic rose color. I will check them out. I know it's a little bit late for the Galaxy Note 9, but maybe some of you guys may be still interested on these cases. Let's go check it out. To your channel and if you're new consider subscribing we're always making videos about the galaxy note phones uh, without further ado let's go check out this voyager case first this case is going to cost you around 17 18 dollars last time i checked uh, on amazon this one is going to have a clip and it's going to be a clear with the gray color around it uh, if you want to get one that is all black i think it sells for around 40 dollars but i only have some links in the description below all right so first thing case looks pretty good I mean it's different uh, it has some good protection from what I can tell okay so per the instructions so we got the clip off and looks like we should go from left to right uh, pop out the clips so we got it to pop out uh, let me get so it does come with a plastic screen protector I know a lot of you guys want to have the screen protector but if you don't want it it can come off easily as you can see it will pop right off so that would be I definitely like when they do this so you have that option if you have, want to have it on or you just want to remove it. And the way this attaches, so right on the bottom, let me see if I can show you. It does have some indentation here where the plastic will go right in so the screen protector will stay in there secure. It doesn't come off easily. Let's try the phone first. So I think usually I tend to put the phone facing down. Phone is in there secure and then we'll put it back over. See if it just snaps right in there. Okay, so what I did, I went around it and I make sure that it snapped all the way through. First impressions on the hand, it feels a little bit, not heavy, but a little bit bulkier, should I say it. And of course, if you're looking for more protection, maybe that's what you're gonna, that's some of the disadvantages of having more protection. It does mention it has four layers of protection, but again, definitely it's pretty thick. I mean, I don't know how well it will hold, but it does have the military grade protection. Now you do have your vessels on the side where it will protect it from the side edges. Uh, top to bottom doesn't have a lot of lip protection, but I can see a good indentation uh, right on the top and on the bottom where it will protect it if you happen to slide the phone across. Buttons, they're not the most user friendly, but they work. Like if you put, you press on it, it will, it will be responsive. Even for me that I have large hands, I can tell you just trying to get the volume rocker so it may be a little bit uncomfortable. I can get it to work with no issues. If you have a smaller hand, that may be a problem. Uh, big speed button again the buttons they're not the most user friendly but they're workable like they work but one thing i did notice having the plastic it's not i can tell you it's garbage now if you really have to have it because you are outside of the environment and just temporarily what i put it on there it's fine it's responsive i can tell you it's responding to my commands i don't see an issue where it's it's really not being responsive from either way top bottom but i can tell you the screen protector it is like loose it is pretty loose actually and i can tell you if you can see when you press on it you can really see where it's really loose i've never seen a screen protector so loose so not the best but again if we just focus on the case itself it doesn't have a lot of grip and maybe maybe a little bit slippery but again you can still get a good hold of it cut outs on the bottom uh let me let's try the s pen uh, getting the s pen there was no issue i can tell you it has a pretty good cut out on the bottom uh, where you can get your whole finger in there and it will, the case will not get on the way. Pen goes in, pen goes out with no issues. Same with the charging port. Uh, the, the opening is wide enough. Uh, when it comes to the audio jack, one thing that I noticed is that, again, though I guess the way it is assembled, but the top and the bottom part of the case, it doesn't, it's not completely flush. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see it's really not flush. Whereas you can see here, especially around the audio jack, but not a big deal, but I don't know if that's something that will bother you. When it comes to the fingerprint sensor in the back, I can still reach it. I like how it has this group, so it kind of guides you through where the fingerprint is. Especially around the camera, you have a pretty good opening where it doesn't get on the way of the camera. You do have the Pelican brand right on the back here, and you have, it's kind of like a different design more like a pl TPU plastic material and the clear case. The clear is pretty good. It's not yellow at all. I can tell you it's very clear. It's transparent. Right, one last thing, uh, the clip does go in there pretty well. I mean, it goes in there easily, it comes off easily. One thing is it does feel lighter compared to the one from the other box and it feels like it's a little bit more delicate. 
I can tell you, I don't know about the clip, if this clip is going to last a long time, but you can either lock it, as you can see, it will lock and it will get released. So it's it's more user-friendly compared to the older box one, but I don't know if it's going to last the same as the older box. But I can tell you, you can use this as a kickstand if you want to consume content. That's definitely another option. 17 bucks, I think is worth it. I don't know if it was like 40, 50 dollars, definitely I wouldn't pay for that. But under, under 20 dollars, I think it's pretty good. I'm not sure if you used Pelican before, I'm not very familiar with the brand. Now when it comes to wireless charging, let's test it out. And picked up wireless charging right away. Uh, so it should work, I don't see why it wouldn't work. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this case. Again, it comes in different colors. I think on Amazon I saw one that is all like the black one that doesn't have the clear in the back. It's about $37, $38, but this clear one in gray color, I found it for about around $17, $18 on Amazon. I have links in the description below if you guys wanna go check it out. This next one is the Pelican Adventure case. It comes in a rose, metallic rose color. Looks like you can get the case from the top and then the bottom, it snaps right in there. I mean, much user friendly. It's a little bit, uh, how can I say it? It's smooth, but it does have like a good grip. I can feel some friction in here, so I don't feel like I can uh, easily drop this phone. Uh, on the corners, you got okay protection. Uh, you don't have a lot of lip protection, but you got some lip protection in there. In the front, I can tell you it's, uh, it is compatible with the screen protector that I have. Again, it's a white dome, glass white dome and I still have some gap in between, so should be compatible with a lot of the screen protectors. I can tell you the buttons on this one is much user-friendly, very clickable. Uh, it looks like it's pretty responsive. Let's test out the volume rockers. Definitely much user-friendly. Uh, easy, to, easy to get to, very responsive. Cutouts on the bottom, right on point. Let's see if we can get the S-Pen out. Again, I like that they have the cutout on the bottom for the S-Pen. It is wide enough where you can get your thumb, you can get your finger in there, it doesn't get on the way easy to reach to your uh, S Pen without any issues. Uh, on the back for the fingerprint sensor, you got a pretty big indentation. It is pretty wide open where you can get your finger in there. It doesn't get on the way to reach your fingerprint sensor. Same for the cameras, will not get on the way of the cameras. So testing out, if you wanna use the swipe gesture controls, it doesn't get on the way on the bottom. Uh, again, you got some protection on the side, you have some vessels. Overall, I mean, not probably not the maximum protection, but mid to high protection. This case is pretty good. It's not very heavy, and it looks, I would say, looks stylish. It looks different. When it comes to charging, wireless charging, shouldn't get on the way. The wireless charging is working. Now, last time I checked for this case, it was selling for around $19. I have links in the description below if you guys wanna go check it out. There you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Anything, any comments, any feedback that you have for the other users on the Pelican cases, let us know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this content and I'll see you on the next one.